Hello again. Uh, this is a video that I've been asked to do by a few people, not only to prove that I'm still alive, but also apparently there's quite a few people that are struggling um, fixing one of these to one of these. This being the QHY8L and this being the new cable management system that QHY have brought out to accompany the camera. If you buy the cameras at the moment, if you, if you buy one of these new, chances are you will get that, that system with it. If not, uh, you can contact Modern Astronomy and probably you will be able to supply one for you. Um, the complication comes with how to fit it, so that's what we're going to talk about with this one. Um, now firstly, let me just tell you something about the, the camera and the way to hold it while you're doing this. The camera is fitted inside a tube. Now, when we come to undo a couple of the screws, this part can fall out as well as taking the back off. So make sure when you're following the steps that I'm going to show you that you grip the camera quite well. Now also it's a good idea to take your little finger and just make sure that it hooks underneath that lip on the camera so that nothing can actually drop down when you're holding the camera. So let's just take a look at the management system first. These are actually produced on a 3D printer so that if you look at them closely you may see that there are lines it's sort of um, a built up um, sort of surface on it and they're actually made on a 3D printer these. Now if you've never seen a 3D printer before I highly recommend that you go on YouTube and, and just do a, a search for 3D printer and have a look because I can guarantee you'll want one. Um, right so onto this then, the fitting. What we're going to do firstly is just have a closer look at this actual fitting and if you notice if you look at the two sides of it uh, meaning sort of this side and if I turn it around that side you will see that a couple of the holes on the outside edges are counterboard which means that this hole here is bigger on this side than it is on the opposite side and there's a reason for that and we'll, we will come to that as uh, as we work through the this tutorial now you will get a bag of pieces um, various screws and, and, and spacers so what we're going to do is just have a look at a couple of those you will receive four of these the little brass spacers now if you're one of those sort of people that have got quite fat fingers and, and you can't get into into sort of tight spaces a little trick for these is to take this long screw that you also get in the kit screw it into the spacer itself and now you've got sort of an extension where you can get in and just start to fit it get something then to just hold this as you unscrew the longer screw now you will need a couple of tools um, namely you will need a small Phillips driver and preferably a very small spanner if you haven't got a very small spanner then uh, a pair of pliers will do at a pinch um, obviously my, my spanner just happens to fit there quite nicely on those now when you come to tighten these spaces up we're not actually gonna you know you don't want to be swinging off them all you're gonna do is to knit them up when we get to that stage also in the bag, as I just showed you, you get one long screw. You also get three shorter silver screws. Now two of these are going to be to fit the actual spacer um, cable management system to the back of the camera. And one of them actually goes with this. Now we'll start with the assembly of this. It really only goes together one way, and that is with a fitted hole one at each side and also you will see that there's a a bolt hole goes through the middle and that is for this long bolt so we'll start off by just putting that through into the nut retainer on the opposite side and just put that in loosely all we're doing with that really is just keeping the orientation of of this cable management system like so next we're going to go on to the camera now, as I said, make sure that you hold it the way that I showed you to hold it. If you look on the back of the camera, you will see two screws, two small Phillips screws. These hold the back on, but also they hold the front on, so make sure that you do hold it properly. Now, next, what you do 
is you take your small Phillips driver, undo those two Phillips screws. Now don't forget, I can't stress enough to keep a nice tight hold of the camera itself because you don't want to end up in tears if you if you drop a section of your camera. Now, as you can see, the back just practically fell off there. Um, there's the back. And now we can see inside the camera itself. Now you can also, if you look in there, you can see the two parts where those screws were threaded into. What we're going to do is take two of these brass spacers and place them into that point where the screws are screwed into like so can you see that and like I said don't swing off these they just want nipping up that's all now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my glasses off for this because these are for a uh, long distance and, and close up I uh, I struggle a little bit right that's one of them in now the other one you may find is a, is just a little bit it's in there a little bit sort of difficult to get your fingers in so like I said if you need be you can screw that longer screw onto this just to let you get in and reach obviously I've done this a few times so I really don't struggle with it too much at all now once I've got this one in I'll show you again exactly what it looks like but just be patient with it take your time because obviously just a rushed move can can result in a in a broken camera and that you really really don't want right those are sufficiently nipped up and we'll just give you another look in there. You can see that those two spaces have now brought out. It's now flush with the back of the camera where the threads are. What we do next is we take the back of the camera and place it back onto the camera casing. Just make sure that you find the points where it attaches to what you do next is you use the other two spacers now to fix the back onto the camera and again just nip them up a little bit okay so now in effect you've got your camera back together again but where the two Phillips screws were you now have the two spacers protruding out if you take hold of the cable management system and you have a look at the orientation of the three holes on this with the three holes on the camera you'll see that it will fit over those spacings the little brass spacings that we've just put in there next what you do is you take two of the little silver screws that came in the kit and just use those to fix the cable retainer to the back of the camera now these I would not over tighten I would just I would leave them so sort of just ever so slightly nipped up so that you've got a little bit of movement in there because this is adjustable the cable retainer so just that slight amount of movement like so is what you're looking for let's just put the other screw in like so and then the third of these small silver screws you will see there is another hole at this side for that to go into 
So again, just take your Phillips driver, guide it into the threaded section in the retainer, and that's it. That retainer is now fitted. All that you do is when you put your plugs in there, obviously they pass through this retainer, and you use these these two screws, the long screw here, like so, and the shorter screw, all they do is they just tighten the retainer up onto your plugs. So obviously if you if you come into pack up at night and you're taking your plugs out, just loosen off those two screws again and pull your plugs out. And that is the retainer fitted to the QHY8L. And that's it for this one. So once again, thanks for watching.